Kate Fulcher, uh, many welcomes here to the Mansion House, uh, to the City of Dublin. Um, it's a great pleasure for me, as Lord Mayor, as our Mayor of this city, uh, to welcome the Catalan community to the Mansion House, uh, the home of the Lord Mayor, but more, more importantly, the civic home of the people of Dublin. Uh, we have clearly a very vibrant uh, Catalan community here in Dublin and Ireland. And we also have many links. Uh, Dublin has many links with the city of Barcelona, we are sister cities. Also, the Irish people have many links with the people of Catalonia. And as an Irish Republican, uh, I'm a member of Sinn Féin, we have great sympathy and empathy with the demand of the people of Catalonia for the democratic right to determine their future. Here. We have been... <laughs> we have been appalled by the behaviour of the Spanish state, by the PP government, in attempting to suppress your democratic exercise of your right to self-determination. It has appalled the world. And make no mistake, when those events happened, the attempted suppression of the democratic rights of the people of Catalonia, the world was indeed watching. And it was great discredit and great shame upon the Spanish state at what transpired in those days and weeks. So if the party popular government in Madrid thinks that by its repressive actions, by its arrests, by its imprisonment, by its sending people into exile, that they have suppressed the people of Catalonia's spirit and their demand for independence, they are very, very mistaken. Because we in Ireland here know very well that that type of repression, that type of denial of democracy never succeeds and from repression will arise a risen people. It occurred to me today, I was at our annual party conference and we were discussing the situation in Catalonia and we heard how now members of your government, members of your parliament are imprisoned, others are in exile, no doubt others uh, are uh, in fear of arrest or imprisonment or indeed forced to flee abroad. We are no strangers to that here in Ireland. In this very building, on the 21st of January 1919, the first Free Irish Parliament, Dáil Éireann, assembled. Many of those uh, MPs elected to that parliament were in prison and there were empty seats on the first day of our Republican government in Ireland. There were many empty seats because those men were in prison. So we are no strangers to repression. The British government later that year completely banned the parliament and they did so with violence. So we, we're very, we, we clearly understand what is happening in Catalonia from our own uh, experience of history. And of, but of course, no two countries are the same, no two struggles are the same. The, the people of Catalonia are of one widespread uh, admiration across the world because of the way that you have conducted your campaign for independence and your campaign for your right to democracy. Mass peaceful protest, mass participation, elected representatives uh, taking their own country. That is an example to the world. And again, as I say, if the Spanish state thinks that it can repress that and suppress that example for other countries, they are very, very mistaken. So as uh, our mayor, as Lord Mayor, uh, when these events happened, I wrote to the Spanish government, uh, I wrote to the mayor uh, of Barcelona, and I have worked uh, with your group here, and we will continue to work together to assert the democratic rights of the people of Catalonia. Good. So, uh, 
gives me great pleasure uh, to welcome you here and to welcome and to introduce uh, your MEP, Jordi Soli Di Ferrando. Sit around the table, talk, negotiate, and, and 